Yo, what's up everyone? It is uh, snowing in Canada. Uh, so I'm actually on my way to Macedonia right now. Let's go. I'm going straight to Macedonia, baby. My flight leaves in a few hours. I'm packing my Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I would love to make a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh vlogs in Macedonia. So if you guys live around the Macedonian area, reach out to me, let's duel. I'm also bringing my Alestros deck. And I'm not just saying this because they're sponsoring me. Speaking heart to heart with the boys, a lot of companies reach out to you as a YouTuber, but over my sponsorships over with Alestros, I will continually play Alestros just as much as I play Yu-Gi-Oh. I gain more fun playing Alestros than I do playing Yu-Gi-Oh. And that's saying something for someone that loves Yu-Gi-Oh as much as I do. I really hope it blows up. And if you guys want to play as well, get your starter decks down below. And once you get your starter decks, make sure to message me on Instagram or Twitter so we could play together. And I want more people to play with. And I really think that has potential to be the next big TCG card game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Genuinely developed a lot of fun playing it. I hope you guys could also get the same. So check the starter decks below and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. The final battle. We're 1-1, one, one, Alec. Who is going to win? Me or you? We're gonna find out. Yeah, we will find out because you beat me the first time. I beat you the second time around. Now this is the final, this is for all the marbles. Winner gets a pizza. <laughs> Have you decided what pizza you want even though it doesn't matter because you're gonna order it for yourself? Meat lovers. Meat lovers. Oh, All right. Nice. Well, I want pepperoni mushrooms. In this game of Olestrals, for those who don't know how to play, you can check out the link down below to learn how to play. Loser decides to go first. It's always the best two of threes. This is game number three. You lost the last one. Do you want to go first or second? I'll let you go first. You let me? Oh, I wanted to win. Nice, brother. All right. And if you guys want to learn how to play the game, check out the links below. You start off with five cards. And there's phases. There's a draw phase, a main phase, battle phase, and end phase. No main phase, two. So you can check out the links. We're at 20. We're done. I, I think we don't need to explain the rules anymore, do we? Because we already explained in the last two. Yeah. So if you guys are confused on how to play, check out the links below to learn. And this is going to be all gameplay. Triv Gaming versus Triv Gaming number two. Let's go. All right. For my first play, I'm going to cast Elachik. So Elachik is one of my favorite Elestrals. By having an enchantment cost of one Thunder Spirit, it's a special effect. It says when Elachik is normal enchanted, you can search a deck for a one spirit wind elestral. So I am playing a Pentera deck. So I really want to get access to my Pentera, which is I think the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pen deck, Pentera. So I'm, I'm gonna search a Hydrake, that's what it does. So a Hydrake, when this card is destroyed by battle, I could special enchant a Twindra from my a, a deck. And then I could do the same with the Twindra into a Pentera. So little by little, I'm gonna get to my boss monster. Uh, after you can only enchant once per turn, so I'm going to pass at my Elechick. All right, I draw. Let's see what we got here. Oh, let me use Nectar of the Gods. So Nectar of the Gods, oh. the rune that allows us to draw two cards by expending two of expend. any spirits. So I'll sacrifice. A wind and a fire spirit. I feel like I don't need those. As yes. Much uh, so I'm at 19. Claire moved one, and you'll be at 18 after that. That's right. Draw two more. I'm gonna put on a stadium card, Folloy Forest. Folloy Forest. Enhancing all Do your my stadium rooms with an extra one attack and one defense for each enchanting earth. And I'm gonna put Tectoris with. Taratlas spirit behind him. And Whoa! So this we, is a Tectoris. We have the same effect. So what is that effect there for? So this Tectoris gains one attack for every enchanting earth on the field. You have two. Oh, so it goes to five attack. It's at three currently. And it's not good. the same. Not for time, me at least. Dimitri, my. Oh, divine rune will be casted. So divine runes so, are the most powerful in the game. It takes one to cast as the enchantment cost, and I can put up to three more, so four, but I'll just put three. So you just put for up to two afterwards, okay? Yes, so the effect is that I can disenchant one of these runes to increase the attack and defense of an Alestro by three. Okay, and but, so in total, you have three, four, five, six, seven. So you're at uh, 13 spirits, but you have really good board control at the moment. Yes, and... Tectoris's attack right now is pretty high, right? One, two, three, three, four, five. It'll be at eight. Okay, so that's not bad. So I'm just gonna attack there. Oh, that's very powerful. The way to take spirit cards out of your opponent's spirit deck 
is by having, when you attack, if you have more spirits than them. So at the moment, Tectorus only has one spirit. So despite the fact that he destroys my electric, that doesn't add eight attack, it does not mean I lose four spirits. Because we both have one spirit each, I only lose zero, I lose zero spirits, but my electric, it does get destroyed. However, next turn, if he has two spirits and they attack me directly, I'll lose two spirits. My goal, draw, you have eight attack. <laughs> this was perfect. This spells the end for you, my brother. I'm going to cast my Hydrake. Now, Hydrake's special ability says, when this Hydrake is destroyed in battle, you could specially Twindra from your deck to your field in attack position. So what am I going to do? I'm going to enter the battle phase. With my Hydrake in attack position, I will attack into your Tectorus. Okay. It gets destroyed because that's a big boy. It's an eight attack. So Hydrake will then trigger special enchanting my Twindra. And what's Twindra's effect? Twindra says when this Twindra is destroyed in battle, you can special enchant a pen terror from your deck. Right. So my Twindra, destroy yourself Whoa. from the Tictorus. How can you attack again? It's a different monster. Just, yeah, when this card is destroyed in battle, you get special enchant and Tindra from your field right away. Not at the end phase, it specials it right away okay. in attack position. So this is just specifically special in, in attack. And because it's still the battle phase and Twindra is a different monster from Hydrake, I can attack again. So destroy yourself, Twindra, to special enchant the boss of my deck, Pantera! 13 attack! Ho ho ho! Wow! That's a sexy ass card. Oh my god! And you got eight attack. Pen Terror! Destroy this little baby! And because it has three, it will get rid of one of your spirits. Or two of your spirits! Oh, this is over for you. Are you sure about this? Yes. What's its effect? When this Pen Terror is destroyed in battle, you can special enchant any number of Hydric or Twindra from your hand or deck. Oh my god! This card's crazy. Let's destroy the battle. Yes. Now you gotta deal with my Pantera. Good luck. Let's go ahead. Let's go for it. All right. Activate. Drops of Leaf. Drops of Leaf. So. Both players discard their entire hands to the underworld. Then each player draws the same number of cards. This is card destruction. <laughs> and you expend one. Yeah. Putting so you at 10. This fire. So I have four. Okay. I have five. So I draw five, you draw four. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a hand. First off, I'll play Ambrosia. Ambrosia. So this means I can expend one spirit to get three spirits from my underworld to my spirit deck. So I'll expend one Vipero and I will get three Teratlist Earth Spirits. All right. Put these here, but now I'm going to Activate Earthquake. Oh, no! So that means... This card Pantera. keeps saving him! <laughs> Your Pantera goes... Oh! So it's two Earth Spirits. Because when Pantera is destroyed by battle, I get special enchant any number of Twindra and Hydric from my deck. When it's destroyed by effect, I can't... You're so lucky. Oh my god. It's the only answer he had in his entire deck. Pantera, I love you. It's okay. We'll win the next ones. I'll take carry on, cast it in attack position. Yeah. Its effect reads that when it is destroyed in battle, I can target the Alestral that destroyed it, take control of it until the end phase. Irregardless. You attack? attack. Ah, yes. so I lose spirit. one. And how many spirits do you have left right now? Uh, currently I have- Which is public one, knowledge two, three, for four, everyone. Five, six, seven, eight, I have nine left. Nine, all right, so 12 to nine, I'm in the lead. Uh, Card advantage, I would say, is pretty equal. All right. For now, until For I destroy now. you. Draw. Perfect. Nectar of the Gods. So what this does, this allows me to draw two cards for an enchantment cost of two. Pot of Greed. Draw two. That's a good one. For my first move, I'm going to activate Ambrosia, similar to the card you used. Mm -hmm. I am going to have to have an enchantment cost of one. I will send a Zapter, and I will use the effect now to add three spirits back. 
The three spirits I choose will be a Zapter as well as two Lycoris. Scared, brother? Not really. Understandable. Next, I will play Iolos. So Iolos first, I have to enchant it with one, and then I can enchant it with up to four. So I will do that. I will enchant it with up to four, putting five underneath it. And then I'm going to disenchant one Wind Spirit. By disenchanting one Wind Spirit from Iolos, I'll be able to search my deck for a Spirit Wind Elestral and add it to my hand. I would love to search Hydrate to go into my Twin Draw, to go into all these combos into my Pentair, but I only play one Pentair in my deck. I will add Exaltair. My next move, I am going to play Island of Iolia. Island of Iolia will put one of this. This means that all Lestrals gain one attack and defense for each of their enchanting wins. And next, I'm going to go for Broke here. I'm going for a big play. I will cast Exaltair with a Wind Spirit of one. And then after, you think I'm done? No, not yet, brother. I will then play Bag of Winds on my Exaltair. Now this is a huge turn. I'm expect I'm using a lot of runes here, putting me down to literally only four runes left. However, I know that I have my brother on the fences. The effect of Bag of Wind says the empowered Elestral gains two defense and cannot be targeted by runes. This means my brother cannot target my Exaltair with runes anymore. And even better, if Iolus is enchanted, which it is. And the empowered Elestral destroys an Elestral in battle. You can target one rune in the field and destroy it. So once I destroy his carry-on, I will be able to destroy his Demeter. And it cannot be targeted. So, I will set one rune. That's not good. And then I'll use Exaltair's special effect. I will Nexus two Wind Spirits from Iolus underneath Exaltair. This is a huge play I got going this turn. We got to make sure it counts. So now Exaltair... It says, if you successfully Nexus from this effect, your opponent must expend two spirits. Two All spirits right. are out of there. There you go. And then I'll enter the battle phase. An Exaltair with five attack and his carry-on with four attack. And three spirits underneath Exaltair. I'll destroy your carry-on. And then, because I have three spirits and you had one, you have to expend two spirits from your uh, spirit deck. And Bag of Wind's effect says, when an Illustral is destroyed in battle, target and destroy a rune, your opponent has... Goodbye, Demeter. Oh, shit. All That's right. Spirits, too? Yeah. Oh. All gone. That was a huge play. However, I only have four spirits left. I have field control. How many do you have left, Alec? I have five. So I have four. My brother has five. This is going down to the wire. I expended. I, I, <laughs> your man, that was a lot of spirits for me there to worth, have this play. You have one card in time. hand? Yeah, let's draw. All my marbles are on the table, brother. When in doubt, use Earthquake. So I'm gonna use Earthquake on that card. <coughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he cannot right. be targeted right. by runes. Okay, I don't have any play then. I don't have anything I can cast. So you pass. Yeah. And you have five spirits. Uh, yes. Draw. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do, brother. I am going to cast Boom Bat. Now, if you want to summon another monster, Boom Bat will just destroy it. And now this is where it's over for you. I'm going to use the effect of Exaltair. Actually, let's make it even more fun. Let's use Circle of the Sky for an enchantment cost of one. I can Nexus up to two spirits on you, my field. So I'm going to decide that, you know what? How, you have five left, yeah? I don't, I don't need this bag of wins no more. What do I need bag of wins for? I don't need that anymore. I'll put them all under Exaltair. And then I'm going to be able to draw one card. And then, to make matters worse for you, I will then use Exaltair. Iolos, you're cool. I don't need you anymore. I will take two spirits from Exaltair, forcing you to expend two spirits from your deck. Because the Nexus ability, it says, if it says you can, you can Nexus up to two Wind Spirits in your field, that means I can take two Wind Spirits and put them anywhere on the field. Now my Exaltair has seven Wind Spirits. And call it what you want. There's no Karibo in this game. I will enter the battle phase with seven win spirits. Exaltair, Ooh. beat my brother. GG, Trippie. GG. You are the master of card games. I have to hand it to you. 
I'm gonna buy the pizza. I'll buy the pizza. Let's do it, man. Pepperoni, yeah. mushroom. I also want uh, green peppers. This. You're buying, right? Green peppers. I want black peppers. Red peppers. Uh, ham, chicken, bacon, and your tears. Cause that's what we got today. GG. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter.